Hello guys! As promised, today we're doing a flip through of my finished gratitude journal. It was supposed to be a one page a day for all of June, but I got off track there about mid-month. Um, you'll see I have a couple of kind of dull pages and then I kind of fell off the wagon and came back to it a couple days later. And I finished it up today, uh, July 17th. So um, I thought I would just do a quick flip through of it, showing you guys the finished product. If you want to see how I made this journal, I do have a video on that, um, which I will leave linked down below. And if I can figure out the cards, I will uh, link it up there as well. Um, but yeah. I started with a like 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper that had numbers on it, all the numbers that I used for each page, and I kept them in this little envelope as I worked through, but now there, there's nothing in there anymore since they're all finished. But that was a nice little nifty deal there. I enjoyed having that. I liked having the numbers. I liked the color scheme of them and I also liked like how I didn't really have control over which ones went next to each other. They just, you know, it, it, it was part of the challenge. It added just another layer of me having to be creative about how I was gonna put these together. And I really liked it. Of course, I preferred the neutral ones. <laughs> Generally, I was always like, oh, it can pretty much do anything. But the yellow ones in particular, um, I like some of those pages. Not necessarily this one. This one I just kind of, I intentionally wanted to do layers and layers and layers and just kind of keep throwing things on it until I felt comfortable. Um, kind of looks a little spastic now, but <laughs> uh, that was on purpose. I love this wallpaper. Got a little tag here. It says date night, if you can read it. It's really faint. A lot of pinks. <laughs> like this page, for example, the yellow color. I just kind of dug through to see if I had some things that were yellow and kind of went with it, and I really like how this page turned out. As you can tell, by this point, I do a lot of stamping in here. I use a lot of stuff that I get sent from my pen pals in here. I don't know, it's a happy little journal. I like it. This is from my pen pal Ashley. I'm crazy about these bunny stamps and she sent me a whole bunch of them. But there's the little gratitude for this day. I was still on track at this point. <laughs> One every day, so this was June 12th. And here is where I started getting a little pushed for creativity and time especially. Um, I'm a slow crafter so like I pretty much need an uninterrupted half hour bare minimum for to like come up with anything productive and yeah it, it just it was getting to be a challenge at this point so after this you know I wasn't super happy with these. I'm still not. I <laughs> I don't know if I should add more. I don't know. I, I just um I took a break after this point and came back at it later, and I didn't put dates on it, but I just kept going in order, and I was just like, it's still 30 days of gratitude, just not 30 days in a row, <laughs> but that's okay with me. I'm actually surprised I came back to it this quickly. Usually when I fall off of the plan like that, I will just, you know, close it up and say I failed and put it in a drawer and try to forget about it, but, um... 
so I'm proud of myself that I actually finished it. I feel like it's a good step in the right direction. This one I remember doing it on the day. Like I just skipped, I counted how many pages and then just went back in order. So I think I did this one and this one on the right day and then the rest I was making up time. <laughs> is actually a sticker but I just left the back on it and wrote on it for my gratitude. And I've got the dates stamped there at the bottom. I was planning to do some like little tiny daily things that I was grateful for to tuck them in the back here. And I only ended up with one of them. <laughs> but that's okay. That is okay. I can always add to that later too if I wanted. If I feel the urge to write something down I'm super grateful for, then I have a place to put it. So I hope you enjoyed. I think it's a nice little happy journal. I'm very happy that I made it, even if it didn't go, oh goodness, even if it didn't go to my original plan. And yeah, hopefully I'll make another little journal like this soon. I like, I like it. I didn't know what I would think about having a journal so short. I, I mean, if you guys know, I'm a chunky journal kind of person. Let me pull out my junk journal right now. This is my junk journal right now. <laughs> and this is smaller than my last one, if you can believe it. But, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> um, I look forward to making some more videos. I know I have been, you know, few and far between right now. Um, but I'll be back. I have other stuff coming. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and see you next time.